Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Braze account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create an email campaign with Braze? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create an email campaign in Braze anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know it's important to stay in touch with your customers. And Braze is a popular way to do that. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Braze dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Braze account and this is the dashboard. So in order to create an email campaign here on the left side, you're going to click on campaigns. Once you do that, you're going to see this button here on the top right. Click on create campaign. Once you do that, you get to choose what type of campaign you're putting together. Today we're doing an email campaign, so I'm going to click on email. Okay, so here we can go ahead and name the campaign. So let's say YouTube tutorial campaign. Okay, here you can go ahead and tag this campaign. So let's say maybe this is about Chinese food. So we'll just do Chinese food. Okay, I'm going to create tab. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and name this variant. So you can have, I think, up to eight different variants. So basically that's going to be for split testing your email. So let me go ahead and name this Chinese food variant. Okay, next you get to choose how you're going to put together this email campaign. So this is going to be drag and drop. So this is going to be similar to like Wix or Weebly. If you're familiar with HTML or maybe somebody put the email together for you and it's an HTML, you're going to use this or you can do what I do and then use the templates right here. Okay, once you do that, you're going to see all of your saved templates. If you don't have any templates, you can click right here, Braze templates. Okay, so as you can see, Braze has quite a few templates available. So you can go ahead and choose from these. So abandoned cart, apologize, browse products, celebration. So for these templates, you can see there's a lot of them available. So let's see here. There's looks like there's 49 templates available. So just scroll through and then just choose the one that kind of applies to your business. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and use this one promo code. Okay. I chose promo code. I'm going to click on select template. Okay. So as you can see, it's just a drag and drop. So you can easily just click in here and then edit. So get more Chinese food, best menus and best prices. So you just kind of keep clicking through here. Each time you click on one of these little boxes, you can see you're going to see this editor over here on the right. So you can go ahead and make changes. So maybe here we would add a picture of chow mein and then here a picture of an egg roll time for lunch. And maybe we're going to add this as chow mein and then this one's going to be egg roll. Okay. So once you have edited the email campaign to match your brand down here on the right, you're going to click on done. Okay. So here we're going to go ahead and edit the sending info. Okay. Here is the unsubscribe setting. So I'm going to use that as a default and here I'm going to change this best Chinese food discount code. Okay. So you can also add a preheader. So basically this is going to be a clip of what your email information entails. We gathered some discount codes from the area. Okay. So that looks good. I'm going to click on done. Okay. We're going to scroll down. So here is the email body that we put together just recently. Okay. Next, I'm going to scroll to the top and I'm going to click on schedule to Okay. So here you can go ahead and choose when your email campaign is going to go out. So it could be triggered by an API. It could be action based. So if your user takes some sort of action, you can set that up here and then name the trigger right here, or you can do what I do and do scheduled. So it can be time scheduled. So send at a designated time, send as soon as campaign is launched or intelligent timing. So first I'm going to go ahead and choose select frequency. I'm going to send once, and then we're going to start the time at let's say 4 PM. And then on the date, I'm going to go ahead and put that on September here. If Braze is going to be sending out, they can send it on the user's time zone, which is what I normally do just so that way they don't get a message in the middle of the night. Okay, next I'm going to scroll to the top and I'm going to click on target audience. Okay, so here you can go ahead and set the segments and the filters. And then here you want to make sure you choose the correct users. So opted in users, all users, including unsubscribed users, users who are subscribed or opted in. Okay, if you have different variants, you can choose the A-B testing right here. So no optimization. Or you can go ahead and choose to have Braze choose the winning variant. Okay, as we scroll down a little bit further, we're going to see this total population. So reachable users based on your email list that you've uploaded into Braze. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the top and I'm going to click on assign conversions. Here you can go ahead and choose a conversion type. So this is basically just for tracking. So let's say we're going to count opens the email as a conversion. And then how long are we going to track this conversion? So for me, I'm going to go ahead and do seven days. Okay. Next I'm going to click up here, review summary. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to be able to see how many of your users are reachable. So I don't have an unsubscribe link on this particular test email. So that's why it's telling me the reachable user is zero because it's not passing the spam test as you can see right here. 
So just scroll through, make sure everything looks good. And if you're ready to go ahead and launch your email campaign through Braze, click down here on launch campaign. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to create an email campaign with Braze, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.